In 2019, Japan approved experiments where scientists are now bringing human-animal hybrids to term, which is bringing up a plethora of ethical considerations. More specifically, people fear the consequences of humanizing animals. Human-animal hybrids are called human-animal chimeras, or you can just call them chimeras for now. To create chimeras, scientists inject pluripotent stem cells, which can become any type of organ from one species into the early embryo of a different species. In this case, scientists inject human stem cells into the embryo of a non-human animal. In theory, the foreign cells should differentiate and spread throughout the body. One of the big goals of this is to use these hybrids as organ donors. But some people are very concerned about where exactly these human stem cells go in an animal and which type of cells they could develop into once they are injected. Or more specifically, if these human stem cells are going to grow into brain cells that will lead to a humanized animal coming into existence. In the case of Japan's approval, scientist Nakauchi wants to start by injecting human pluripotent stem cells into rats and mice embryos to see if he can create a human pancreas. In an attempt to assuage any fears, Nakauchi said that him and his team will suspend the experiments if they detect that there are human cells in more than 30% of the rodent brains. While scientists have brought up medical reasons as to why a humanized chimera is currently a low probability, it is still worth asking, what are we to do if we humanize an animal? And at what point is an animal humanized enough to give it the legal rights of a person?